So you mentioned Ananobi. He's a free agent. So is Isaiah Hartenstein. What does this mean for him? Uh, listen, the Knicks are going to be aggressive in keeping OG Ananobi. It's going to be much more difficult, though, now uh, for them to be able to pay and keep Isaiah Hartenstein. They have Mitchell Robinson on their roster, uh, but the marketplace uh, and what's available to Hartenstein out there may, uh, may beat the Knicks, uh, but certainly uh, they want to bring back OG Ananobi and certainly have the opportunity to do that. But landing Mikel Bridges, uh, you know, in a league where he was, again, coveted uh, in both the Eastern and Western Conference, uh, significant. And if you're the Knicks and you're trying to do a trade with the Nets, you're probably not winning a tiebreaker. You had to overwhelm uh, the others who were pursuing them. And Leon Rose and the Knicks did that tonight. Four unprotected first-round picks, uh, a pick that they have from Milwaukee uh, in 2025, pick swap, a second round. They paid a steep price to Brooklyn for Mikael Bridges. So now what's the thinking in Brooklyn now that they have all I right, no one cares. Okay, so um <laughs> yeah, is there a Nets fan out here watching Sports Center at twelve thirty midnight wondering what's going on with the state of the franchise? Evan Roberts, maybe, what are you yeah, doing may, right now? Maybe just Evan the Snake that is Roberts. Who you need to bring on the show, CP. You yeah. need to bring Evan yes. Roberts back on the show and ask him on the questions. Show. Yeah, we need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. Uh but you know, the I heart thing is is really what what I want to close with, because this could be the end of an era. As what was just said, it's not going to be likely that they're going to be able to keep I heart. The most they can pay him is that sixteen mil, and that's what he's earned, right? He this last year he made nine million. He was yep. the de facto starting center for the Knicks. Mm -hmm. He's going to have more offers out there. Could be OKC, maybe it's Orlando. You had uh, San Antonio. You like you had other team. Detroit has a bevy of cap space. Who's going there? So now iHeart, it's looking like he's going to go from having that stability and the chemistry with the guys, just going out there, just going get going to get paid, man. At somewhere, hopefully it's OKC where he can compete for something. But for iHeart, he, he it looks like he's just going to go get the bag and um, hey, just take the bag and and be rewarded for a great season. He was great for us, man. Yeah, and look, if it is OKC, it makes sense. They can pay him a good team. I mean, they made it to the second round in the Western Conference. So you know, and they're a young team, so you know they're going in the right direction. But I think the the one thing I don't know about iHeart, and this is where because you listen to him on the like the roommate show, you just read, you like you hear all you hear talk, you hear him talk. It just seems like he could be that type of guy that's okay with taking less and staying part of a winning culture, but Look, there's, it's very hard to turn up a lot of money when you've earned that money and go get to play for a good team like the Thunder, you know, a suitor like them. So I, I'm i still like part of me still holding out hope, man, because he seems like he's that type of guy. But we'll see once free agency starts where he lands. I wouldn't be surprised either way if he takes less days with the Knicks just because this is a team that, you know, where Tibbs has empowered him. He's really earned that right to be a starting center too. So I wouldn't be surprised if he left and go went with a new team either. Yeah, I mean, selfishly, I'd, I'd love to see him here with this team and for and sure. Why would you? He, he excelled, be, man, man, especially in that starting rotation. Yeah, he he was fantastic, man. But um, look, he he earned the raise, and the future's never guaranteed in the NBA, man. A, a, a guy like this, how many more years does he have left? And then once you're done and you're in your 40s and stuff, then, then your real life starts. So you got to get that financial security for yourself and your family. He just had a baby as well. He's building his family out. So uh, I think ultimately he, he will go on to, to greener pastures, get the payday, and and, uh, and and be rewarded for his development and his improvement o over the stretch of his career. He started off as a journeyman and became a, a valuable piece to this Knicks team. So... We'll see what happens with iHeart. It's not over by any stretch, but when you make these type of blockbuster moves, like I say, everybody can't come along for the ride. So iHeart could be the next casualty here as the Knicks bring on McCal Bridges. Man. <laughs>